What's up guys, this is Syphy coming back at you with a long awaited pickups video. It's been a while since I posted one and uh, I think uh, before CGE might have been the last time I posted a video. Um, and CG was a blast, uh, just to let you guys know. We had a good time, got some great deals, um, was able to sell off a lot of duplicates and stuff. But believe it or not, I actually came back with quite a bit of extra stuff. So. Uh, that stuff will be going to uh, CGE probably this coming uh, Saturday. Uh, if you guys are not uh, part uh, part of the CGE group, uh, definitely join it on Facebook. Try to get a late invite if you guys can. It is invite only. It's a cool little local collector kind of uh, gathering. It's a lot of fun. Uh, that will be coming up. So I'll be taking some stuff there as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I was able to score some stuff recently. Uh, this is going to be pretty much anything other than turbo stuff. I do have a kind of like a turbo pickup video coming up, but uh, um, I found some pretty, really, really, really cool stuff. It's been really dry out there, but uh, there are stuff to be found. Just got to keep on making moves and kind of wheeling and dealing, and was able to, you know, find some stuff. So let's get to some pretty cool stuff. Um, I want to thank uh, Mighty Mike. Uh, he I think he's still active on. YouTube, not sure, but uh, he did have a channel. I'll post a link below. He hooked this up uh, at CGE, and uh, this is uh, Fantasy Star, the hint book that came with the game. Uh, mine doesn't have it. He happened to have it, and he hooked it up. So thanks a lot to Mighty Mike for hooking that up. Uh, let's see. Went to a uh, Savers and uh, was kind of looking through the aisles and uh, I uh, through the little shelvings, and I saw this for $7.99. It's a uh, this crappy little uh, like arcade game, you know, these little Yahtzee things or whatever. But I noticed there was a Nintendo DS in there. Pulled it out, and it happened to be one of those uh, backlit ones, the uh, 101 models, I believe. Um, and actually came with the game as well, uh, Pac-Man Pinball. Uh, it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Uh, a few scuffing on the top, but other than that, it's in pretty nice condition. Uh, I might keep it, not sure. Uh, works perfectly fine. Uh, powers on great. And, uh, yeah, this is the one with the brighter screen, so that's kind of cool. So definitely jumped on that. $7.99, can't beat that. I think these go for like 40 bucks or something, so that's kind of cool. And also at that same Savers, uh, picked up a uh, couple of Sega Master System controllers for $2.99. And uh, looks like these are the original ones uh, with the cord on the side. Uh, later, uh, revisions of this controller had the cord on top, and then they removed the, uh, the jo joystick input on the controller as well. So, $2.99. They had a light phaser there as well for it, but I decided to pass on that. Uh, I don't have that much room uh, to be picking up big accessories, so controllers are cool, but, you know, guns, I don't really need a, an extra. Uh, let's see, uh, hit up a swap meet with the guys, and I was able to pick up Bubble Bobble for the Game Gear. And this was, I believe, six bucks from the vendor. Uh, just jumped on it because I rarely see this game, and uh, it's actually a pretty good port. I was trying it out with my buddy Sean the other day when he came over, so that was kind of cool. A uh, couple of other CG pickups. Uh, my friend Gabe, uh, also on um, uh, YouTube as Crazy Cubano, I hooked it up with a couple of titles. I hooked it up with Quartet, and this is complete with manual. Uh, so that's pretty cool to have with this copy. And a game I did not have for the SMS collection. I think I'm going to go for a full SMS set. Uh, so I picked up Zillion 2, um, uh, which is a game I've never played, so hopefully uh, that'll be fun. And these were just uh, just trades and hookups from him, so thanks uh, to Crazy Cubano for hooking it up. Um, also to my boy uh, Air Force Shields, many of you know him as well, has a channel as well. Uh, he um, helped me out a lot uh, at, my bo at our booth selling stuff, and, and uh, so um, I hooked him up with the game, and uh, then we made a little trade. And uh, he had an extra copy of Mega Man Soccer. So um, he says he doesn't really like the game. I've never played it, so we'll give it a shot. Either way, it's kind of a harder to find title. It's kind of going up in price, so it's going to get it now while you know before it goes up even more. So uh, another cool title to add to the collection. And uh, also at a swap meet, uh, I finally picked up Super Mario RPG. And uh, I kind of paid a little bit for this. And I kind of just, you know, I, I got paid, went to the swap meet. The vendor had some pretty good titles. Uh, I think I got this for 25 bucks, if I recall. Um, and uh, I actually think this game goes for like double that amount, but uh, I just decided to pick it up, you know. I had never played it, so I might as well give that a shot. Let me know if it's uh, worth playing, guys. I know this is, a, I believe, a square, a square title, I believe, from what I've, what I've been hearing. Uh, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys did see that I did pick up a, 
I, I haven't had like a live like like a or like a like a wild like rare ultra pickup in a long time and this was one of them <clears throat> I, and I uh, was super excited to pick up power blade 2 and this was 599 if you haven't seen the video I actually recorded the whole thing uh, I walked into a goodwill uh, I saw some crappy common titles in the um, in the display case and as usual let me go to, I went into the back to check if there's a console or any accessories and stuff found a stack of games and this was like the second one you know people always dream about like finding stacks of NES games and looking through them and in the middle is a rare title and that's exactly what happened and I only paid $5.99 for Power Blade 2 so that was amazing uh, let's see stopped at the uh, Frank and Sons collectible show and paid a visit to the Super Video Game Bros great guys uh, definitely check out their booth their stuff is always top quality and um, they uh, will work with you so hit them up and uh, I was able to pick up uh, another copy of Double Dragon and uh, you might be thinking why would you pick up another copy of Double Dragon and the reason why I picked up this copy of Double Dragon is because it's another uh, blue variant uh, I believe there's about 22 Sega Master System games that were released in blue variants and they are a little harder to find so for 10 bucks uh, I don't think these are like super super ultra rare but uh, Still, uh, definitely, uh, when I see the blue variants, I always pick them up. And I believe this is the second Double Dragon blue variant that I have. So if anyone out there collects SMS and needs a blue variant, hit me up. Let me know. It's in really nice shape as well. Uh, stopped at a Goodwill. Picked up a few items that I saw. I ran into the Star Wars Arcade for the 32X. So this is boxed complete with manual and everything inside. Uh, I believe this was a $3.99. Yeah, $3.99. Uh, came with the game and manual and everything inside, um, so I picked it up. I think I have this loose. Actually, you know, I think I might actually have this complete. I'll have to double check. Um, but if I do have it already, then this might be up for trade if anyone out there needs this. And at another Goodwill, I stumbled on some CDI games. And uh, actually, most of these are actually movies. Uh, picked up uh, Naked Gun 33 and a third. Picked up. Uh, Stallone First Blood, picked up a uh, Ghost, picked up Robocop 3, Beverly Hills Cop 2, um, 48 Hours, a sealed uh, Star Trek The Voyage Home, uh, a sealed Star Trek uh, The Final Frontier, and uh, the, I think the only sort of game was uh, Who Shot Johnny Rock. So that was pretty cool to run into those at a Goodwill. The local Goodwills around here have been starting to carry CDs and DVDs again. I don't know if it's just like a Christmas thing or it's something they just do during the holidays. But um, yeah, so I found these all in there. I did leave a couple other ones that I didn't really care for. I uh, picked these up. I think these were $1.99 each. So that was kind of neat. And let's see what else we got here. Uh, another good one picked up this uh, replica. It's a, like a, a re-release of the of Frogger, the original arcade classic, and uh, it's pretty clean. Has instructions. Comes perfectly nice in boxes. Was five ninety nine. Couldn't pass it up. Uh, and this is a Frogger, and it uh, looks almost identical to the originals, just uh, re-releases. And I believe this is a Konami uh, re-release, so that was kind of cool. If anyone out there needs one of these, uh, probably trade it or sell it off. Not sure, but. Decided to get it. It's in mint condition, so I didn't want to leave it behind. Another interesting find at another thrift store. Uh, I'm a freak for weird consoles. I like, you know, obviously people tell me, oh, why do you collect CDI stuff? Just This is kind of quirky and kind of, you know, rare and odd. Uh, another rare and odd item that I picked up that I just, just tripped out when I saw this uh, was... Oh, let's see if I can pick it up here. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this, but this is the Samsung, and this is the Nuon. Uh, this was $14.95, and it was just sitting in there with the DVD uh, uh, players, and so I had to pick this up. Um, and uh, this is the model, the, the N2000, and uh, you can see here it says new one on here. So whenever you guys are looking through the DVD section or, you know, electronic section at your store, definitely look for the new one logo on here. Most models, I think, were made by Samsung. There might be a couple of other brands who might have produced this. Uh, you can see here it says uh, DVD, uh, VCD, CD, 3D game, DVD console. I went back and looked for the controller for a few days and didn't find them, but you can see that there has a port 1 and a port 2 for the controller, headphone jack, and then a uh, level. Uh, I believe the only games of note, I believe there's a Tempest 3000, and I believe there's like a Tetris maybe game for this, but I think Tempest 3000 is like the, the, the title that was 
the definitive title for this console. And I believe that game is pretty rare too, as I believe is recalled because of incompatibility issues with some of the other models of this. But um, I thought this was kind of cool, so uh, I just decided to pick it up. 15 bucks, I mean, why pass it up? So that was a no-brainer. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, the guys were going to come over to hang out for the weekend. Uh, sometimes they come down, we go you know, hunting for games and stuff like that. And uh, before they came over, I kind of woke up early, uh, went on Craigslist, found a moving sale, decided to go check it out. And uh, like a lot of people always say, uh, you know, definitely ask when you're at a yard sale if they have any games. Uh, this was a moving sale, and uh, when I got there, uh, they had a bunch of like, they had like a playroom. And I asked if they had any other video games, older video games, and the guy said, yeah. He pulled out a crate of about 40 NES titles. And these are the titles that he pulled out. Let's see here. Uh, most of them are commons. Nothing rare. At least, oops. Hopefully that wasn't a... Uh, didn't break that one there. Let me pull them out here. What's funny is... To, I, I'm not like, like a full NES guy, so I don't really know what the ultra rare games are or the hidden gems, but uh, I paid the guy. The guy I offered the guy, I believe, uh, I think I paid like $30, I believe, for the, the crate. He even tossed in the tub with all these uh, 40 titles and uh, brought them home and uh, told the guys about it, kind of forgot about the, the, the stuff. Then later in the evening, pulled them in because uh, the guys wanted to see what was what were the commons and they wanted, I guess, wanted to see if maybe there was stuff that they needed. So as they're looking through these, uh, my friend David points one out. He's like, dude, that's like a, like a $60, $80 game. And I'm like, which one? And he pulls this one out, never heard of it. I thought this was like a comp one. I was probably going to just sell this one and just toss it, like maybe create a little lot and just sell, sell off the dupes. But in the, in the lot was a Sword Master. I did clean it up and it's perfectly minty. I did baggy it up just so it doesn't get like dirty or just so I don't scratch it or whatever. But the label's really nice. And I never, I would have never known that this game was like an $80 game. I would have probably, damn, I would have probably sold it or traded it off not knowing that. Um, and uh, looked up some video footage on this and actually looks pretty cool. Uh, actually kind of glad, uh, this looks like one of those games that's worth money and is actually fun to play because it actually looks pretty kick-ass. So that was in the lot, Swordmaster, and I guess this is like an $80 game. Would have never, ne would have never known that, so definitely check out uh, you know, your games and check out their values, I guess, before you sell or trade them off. Now let's go through what is in the lot. There's a lot of stuff in here, so let's... Uh, uh, go ahead and go some of this, there's some duplicates in here as well so some of the stuff will be for trade some of the stuff I already have but uh, was Gauntlet 2 uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 the arcade game uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest a kind of beat up copy of uh, Zelda MTV's remote control uh, this is the Mag Max uh, Ikari Warriors uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, uh, Star Tropics, and Golf. Now for the next pile, we got uh, Russian Attack, we've got Double Dragon, Captain Skyhawk, we've got uh, Rolling Thunder, Tengen Release, Super Glove Ball. We got uh, Tetris, uh, Desert Commander, uh, and this is actually funny. I actually passed up this game when I got the uh, the Power Blade 2. This game wasn't in the lot, and I passed it up because I think I already have it. Um, when I went back to pick it up, anyway, uh, it was those that lot of games was gone, but uh, there was another copy of Ninja Gaiden 2 in this lot, so so I got it. I got it anyway. <laughs> then there's a uh, Top Gun Second Mission. Uh, another copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, Hudson's Adventure Island. Uh, the Legend of Kog Kogi, I believe is how you pronounce this. I remember for years that it was Legend of Cage, but it's actually Legend of Kogi from what I've heard or seen around there. Uh, Rampage. Uh, two copies of Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers. Uh, let's see, there's another copy of Top Gun. 
Uh, game that's I've actually never seen as a Skater Die 2. Uh, this one is the only game that's kind of beat up. Label is kind of torn on the top and kind of worn here. Um, but Skater Die 2. Batman. Friday the 13th. Double Dragon 2. Time Lord. Ikari Warriors. Bases Loaded. Super Mario 3. Excite bike, and last but not least, <laughs> last but not least, the Wrecking Crew. <laughs> well, uh, luckily, uh, Swordmaster wasn't one of the titles that just fell right now, but uh, it's all right. Uh, it's all the common games, but no big deal. And the last title, the last item I'm going to show you guys is a pretty amazing score. Uh, I did want to thank somebody in one of the forums. I forgot his name, unfortunately, but he had posted a lead to a kiosk that was for sale. Uh, turned out the kiosk was available locally. Uh, I guess he couldn't pick it up, didn't have a means to pick it up, and said he didn't have room to pick it up. So I decided to get in contact with the guy. Turns out the guy was like a city over. Uh, it was like a Sunday night, around like 9, nine in the night. I texted the guy, he texted me right back. Threw him an offer for a hundred bucks. Uh, he was only asking 120. So I told him, I'll give you a hundred bucks right now if I can go now and pick it up. The guy said, come get it, it's yours. Uh, I went down there and I picked this up. I had to take my girlfriend and my brother with me because this thing was pretty big. And uh, I was in a car accident recently. My car is in the shop and I have a small two-door car. So luckily I have a rental, which is a four-door. I was able to fit this item in the car. And uh, I'm super uh, like happy to pick this up. And uh, let's uh, cut out of here so I can show you what it is. Okay, guys. So here's the next piece I was going to show you guys that I picked up. Um, so uh, let's check it out and here she is this is the Sega Saturn kiosk let's remove this uh, have this covered from dust here and here it is it's a Sega Saturn kiosk it's the tabletop version so it's the one that would uh, sit on top of a you know the counter at a you know game stop uh, game stop or back in the day it would probably been EB or um, you know software etc and uh, it has brushed aluminum on top here, it says Sega Saturn. Uh, does have a built-in Hitachi monitor, which is the official monitor that came with it. Uh, it was pretty dingy when I got it, and I was able to clean it up really, really nice. Uh, it did come with the Saturn, came with a copy of Virtual Fighter, uh, not for resale version. Let's move the light on over here so you guys can see. Uh, you can see the controller there. Uh, it can be replaced with whatever controller you want, if you want to add a Model 2. Or if you want to replace the system with a Model 2, you can do so as well. I decided to leave it as is. Um, I'm going to still kind of clean it up a little more. But it did clean up pretty nicely. You got the brushed aluminum here. It's a Sagon here. Uh, the speakers do come out of there. Uh, you can unscrew this whole bezel here. And uh, basically when you unscrew the bezel, uh, you, it unlocks the TVs, controls, and so on and so forth. Uh, now, if I'm able to get another one of these, uh, under here are a couple of screws, so you can actually make move this over one notch and add another one to make it two players. So if anyone out there has an extra one of these, uh, which I probably doubt, but in case you happen to uh, let me know, I definitely would love to have that and have two player on here. Uh, that is a Saturn that it came with inside. Uh, it does have this, the glass thing. Usually these are missing or broken. This one is in perfect shape. However, I do not have the key. Um, the key, uh, the guy didn't have it, uh, couldn't find it, um, but I, I'm able to open it, but it just I just can't lock it shut. Uh, let's kind of see if we can reach around the side here. Now, the only damage to it is up on top. There's a kind of crack in that corner there. And there's another crack in that corner there. But, you, you know, like I said, when you're looking at it from the front, you, you can't really even tell that, that um, that's even there. Other than that, it's in pretty, pretty nice shape. Um, sides here, you can see that there's uh, these little studs. They're just there for looks. And uh, back here, you can see the TV uh, fits nicely in this little bezel here. It's a Hitachi. Uh, home electronics. Let's move this around. You can see the back there is the key where you would lock it. Since there is no lock, basically it just it just opens. It, it, I can't really just keep it shut, but uh, if, with the key it would turn a little mechanism which locks it. Uh, the cables run under this. Uh, there's like a mesh thing here. You you screw it and it lifts up and you can see the cables under there. Everything here, the TV, all plugs into a Sega power strip that's on the inside. Let's see if you can maybe see it. 
Let's see if you can flash the light in there. Uh, let's see. You probably can't see it in there, but it is a Sega power strip. It's a Sega on there. You can maybe see the G right there. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up or not. But uh, there's a power strip on the side here that says Sega on it. And the TV's powered in through there. The system powers in through there. All the cables run through the bottom, through the side connector here. And they run up to the top here, which is pretty cool. So, basically you probably put uh, any other system in here as well. To put a Dreamcast or, you know, any other console. Uh, the back here, unfortunately, is only uh, mono. Um, but does have an extra, I think there's an extra output here. So you can either output to another monitor, so you maybe have two kiosks running at the same time. Um, but uh, yeah, it has manufactured in 1995 on the monitor. Uh, Hitachi was the one that produced the CPU for the uh, Saturn, so it's fitting that it would be you know, the monitor of choice, I guess, for that. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can check that out. It plugs in just one, one power cable, will power the whole thing on. And uh, yeah, so this is a hundred bucks. And uh, it was a super, super exciting day when I brought this home. And uh, now just to find a place to put it is the only problem. So I'm going to have to move some stuff around. So, uh, all right, guys. So this is uh, Scifix signing out. I'll be back with a uh, turbo pickups video in about a week. Uh, there's a couple of turbo graphics items that I've picked up that I'd like to show you guys as well. So hopefully you guys are having some cool luck out there too. And until next time, guys, this is Syphic once again, signing out. Take care, guys. Lates.